outside. Good morning from the Walmart parking lot. How do you rate your first Walmart experience? Um, oh, it's a good so, seven out of ten. Seven, seven out, out of ten. ten. If you twist Walmart's it a little fault. bit like this, they can oh. see how based you look in the morning. Oh god, not oh. based enough. A seven out of ten, huh? Seven out of ten. I'm gonna rate it an eight out of ten, only deducting two points because Lewis was coughing his Rona all over the van. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that so true? Annoying, yeah. <laughs> so but none of us really got any sleep. No. But okay, now we are going. Um, so this is called Flagstaff, this city, and we are leaving the parking lot. We're turning right, and we are going to Burger King. And uh, after there, we Take are the going to, uh, to a, a city Woodlands called Sedona. And Sedona is supposedly an incredibly scenic city. We're gonna go and swim in some creeks, we're gonna go hiking, and we're gonna see if... Catch everything! <laughs> Hold on, I'll go and check. And, I don't know, was it the fridge again? Maybe the bathroom one. Oh, okay. I think, ah, it's the bathroom. Anyway, I think, I think we're good to go. All right, are we filming? Yes, we are. Now we're gonna go swim in creeks, and we're gonna, gonna see if we can actually find an, a, a, an RV parking space this time so we don't have to stay at Walmart but if, if, uh, if uh, worst case scenario we're gonna do another night at Walmart Louis is gonna pitch a tent outside <laughs> so he can spread the Rona in his own tent <laughs> quarantine, quarantine Walmart tent that's Lewis right loves pitching tents so here we go you, you you plotted in Burger King already yeah so you're in charge of directions yeah all right yeah. see you guys at Burger King double whoopers Woo if we get there we get there. <laughs> We're gonna get there. I sit. My desolate room. No lights. No music. Are we here? Yeah. Whoa, look at that. Is on the right. We've made it to you are possibly the greatest navigator I've ever been in the car with. Granted, I've only only been in the car with Simon as navigator. Okay, how do we do this drive through thing? Got the drive it's probably in there, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. I'm guessing. Is that the outie way? No, that's the innie way. There wouldn't be a menu on the outie way, would there? You see? You're around yeah. there. Okay, I'll get up here. I'm in charge of double water procurement on this trip. Uh oh, are we gonna clear that? I don't know. Hold on. Can someone go out on the walkie talkie? <laughs> don't get right in my butt. I don't think we will. <laughs> oh, no. oh no, no, no! We're not gonna clear it. No fucking way! <laughs> Damn it! How are we gonna get our whoppers? I don't know. I'll have to find some other way. I forgot how big we were. I guess we're going in then. Sorry. <laughs> that would have been funny. to destroy the, the whopper. You need to be outside when I'm backing up. Okay. Yeah, this we can't. We can't it. really see it from here. Hey, do you want your walkie-talkie? No. Going. Oh, I was oh, backing I'm out. I'm glad they have one of those Keep things. Going. Yeah. Alright, fine. I'm gonna go around the other thing. Keep going. Keep going. I guess we're all going in then. We're going in. Yeah. She is a really good driver, by the way. I mean, if I was driving, we would have all been dead by now. For cherry pepper. Hell is Dr. Pepper orange. Hold on, what happened? Where did the pepper go? You want cherry? Yeah, but not power raid. No. Hold on, back. Dr. Pepper. I guess it's like that. Ah, oh, gotta hold it in. You need a high IQ to get your Dr. Pepper on at Burger King in this part of the world. IQ test. Yeah. No, Check out Louis's t shirt today. Is what does it say? Oh, it says, I'm sorry, I can't hear you over the sound of my freedom. Yeah. Oh, and everyone loves it. Oh, over yeah. there, they were laughing at Get it. So much attention yeah, in this the cashier like here is like, wow, where are you guys from? <laughs> <laughs> okay, cheers to Dr. This Pepper one. Breakfast. Yes. Cheers. The dollar one. Oh, look, that's those, all us. Those us? Yeah, six whoppers. I've never had a whopper before. How oh, you're about to. So we'll have three spare. We're talking about I'm, so having, I'm having four. <laughs> it's a bit because right here, you guys want any sauce? Oh, I'm all good. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. Thanks. Someone carry our Whopper yeah. Mountain? Yeah. I'll grab. Yeah, definitely put some ketchup. Okay. Do you sell gongo here? Do we sell what? Gongo. Mm, what's that? 
It's a drink. No. It's Don't African toilet water. <laughs> Not toilet water. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah. All right. Who's ready? You having your first ever whopper? Yeah. There we go. One whopper for you. Like One whopper for you. Amazing. One whopper for me. Two whoppers for everyone. Two whoppers for me. <laughs> Three whoppers for me. <laughs> and four whoppers for me. <laughs> Breakfast for a real man. Okay, let's begin then. See you guys at the... We're going to a waterfall. Hmm. We're gonna swim in a creek. Oh, I'm gonna film your first Whopper reaction. Um, <laughs> She's never had a Whopper before. She's been missing out. Take oh, yeah. You don't look too excited. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> it's off to a pretty Blast bad start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Burger. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> How dare? If I it weren't for McDonald's. the fact that we need you because you're driving, <laughs> you'd be in the booth now. Um, I'm much more a McDonald's girl, I've got to say. Wow. Like Simon Wilson. <laughs> yeah, he's Welsh like you, it yeah. makes sense. All right, see you in the creek. Has anyone looked up what the area, what this area is called that we're driving through? Nope. This one? Yeah. Driving. Are we not in Sedona now? We're closing in on Sedona, but uh, I mean, obviously, uh, so there's an Indian reservation up there. I mean, this is so scenic and beautiful. Obviously, this uh, this place must be kind of famous. I assume it has a name. Mountain Air. Mountain Air. Mountain Air, yeah. Although my map is a little bit confused. The closest name I can find is Mountain Air. It's just a road in between Flagstaff and Sedona. I think it's called I-17 like I or something. All right. Well, I think we're pretty close to that canyon or creek we're going to swim in. I mean, it's, it's basically going to look like, like this, just with higher water levels. So we're going to freshen up because it's been no shower since we started. No, no. For, for us, you've showered. You're keeping clean. We're not. Yes, thank you. We're getting into character. Yeah. All right. Six miles to the, to the destination. If it wasn't 15 miles an hour, we'd be getting there now. <laughs> I'd say they built it. They're not trying. Yeah, <laughs> the prison is complete. <laughs> Hey. Sorry, I didn't know where the window no button was. Worries. So, we're going to have you drive around and see if there's a spot that you actually can fit before we charge you. And if you find a spot, come back and see us. Okay. All right, we'll find one, don't worry. All right. <laughs> so, we found, we just, from the car window here, we saw a place that looks absolutely amazing, even better than the one we're going to. And this has a 4.8 rating uh. in Google. So, uh, we're just going to see if we can park up here somewhere and then start uh, hiking. My worry is I'm not going to be able to turn around anymore. We'll find somewhere. Wow, she really is a master with this RV. She was able to. You said you weren't weren't uh, going to be able to do it, but she did it. <laughs> okay, let's get our swimming gear on. Let's do it. I'm so excited about this. You just wait till you guys see this this place or this creek. Parallel parking. What's I'm that? I can barely bloody parallel park my car. I'm getting good at this. We're already lost. Not quite sure which path to take here. To trail along this river, through the canyon, or there, there seemed to be a path going through these two mountains here. We're leaving the river behind. We're gonna see if we can find the trail. Which leads us through these ruins. Obviously there was, was a settlement or a house here at some stage. through there, that's where we're going. Anything in there? Nothing in there. Nothing? 
Worth going in or no? Well, we can have a look. Did people just have ridiculously long legs in the past? Or? <laughs> Here we go. Anything? Not really. Oh, sure. Graffiti. No. <laughs> so exciting as well. Ooh. Well, at least we found the name of where we are at. It's called the Red Rock Secret Mountain Wilderness. Noise? No, some kind of animal. Yeah. Now it's getting pretty scenic here. Even Geraldo is impressed. So who's gonna, gonna walk it? past this treacherous path first? Let us know if it's safe. Not Looks pretty dangerous. <laughs> I think big man Luis is gonna have to go next. Oh, I'm not sure. I can you hold man enough this man. for this? All right. Don't fall. Ah, oh, here we go. We're able to capture this in a photo. Oh, this place is crazy. I'm not 20 anymore. Hold on. Ay, ay, ay. Did it. This place is really cool. Though. It's unreal. The colors here. Well, I now understand why this trail has a 4.8 rating in Google reviews, Google Maps. Sorry. You're all good. Not a treacherous crossing. Who's oh. going first this time? We'll send Nick. She's the test. Okay. She's good at things. Do you have your walkie-talkie so we can communicate? Okay. <laughs> we should really do it with the walkie talkie for safety, but you know, just this one time. Ooh. All good over there? Yeah. All right. You're next. All right. I'm going to take an alternate path. The scenic path, the scenic route. Finally, somewhere deep enough to swim. At least it looks like it from up here. Let's see. Yeah, like down here. Oh, yeah, you can sit there good. and have a beer. Yeah, for sure. And then maybe just backtrack where we came from. Yeah. Oh, right here. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it gets any more beautiful than this. Keep your friends close, but your bud closer. Uh-oh. 
Yeah, let's not slip. The world's biggest water slide. Let's try it. Oh, not catching much. <laughs> oh, Whew. I can get used to this. Am I filming? Yes, I am. <laughs> if not, I would have to do that again. <laughs> it happens sometimes. You can kind of touch the bottom. Hold on, let's see. <laughs> Shit, lady. Say the bird. Mm. I think half of that was river water. Okay. I've drank worse. I've drank Gongo with Faki Party. Cheers. Cheers. I'm gonna have to try this bottle of the mystery Smurf piss. All right. Let's see. Skull. Cheers. Skull. Right. Oh yeah. That is tastes. Smurf? What is it? Um, it's uh, Smirnoff Ice, red, white, and berry. It's. Why are you drinking Smurf piss? Uh, oh. Because America. Because America. All right. American drinks. Sounds piss. good to me. I like to propose a toast to America. Actually, the world's greatest RV driver. Only your second day, but uh, you know it was because of your parking skills. We're here, so yeah. cheers to Nick. Cheers, Scott. Cheers, Scott. Scott. Mm. Oh yeah. Wait, can I have a drink while I'm driving? I don't think I can. Yeah, you can have one Smurf piss. I know you can here at home. I just didn't know if you could here. Yeah, you can have a lot here. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's time for an Instagram update. So if you're not following him on Instagram yet, this is it, Heraldo Baldieri. I usually put out far more frequent, uh, frequent updates from the road on there. So head over to Instagram and follow Heraldo. A little too thick for this tree, I think. Rattlesnakes. What is this ridiculous obstacle obstacle ahead? But apparently you can drive over it. I just gotta go out and film it. Okay. Oi, what's that? Alright, you ready? Wow, look at this. All right, go for it. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. I thought the spikes were gonna were gonna stay up. All right. Go faster, good. Go faster, 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 go and then you're on your own. Let's get some music going then. This is terrible news. What's it called? Yeah, what animal was it? Alright. Snake? Grasshopper something. Grasshopper. Okay, okay. We're on the road again. It's 16 minutes. On one road? Yeah, we'll let you know when we're closing in. Okay. Slide rock, look at this place. Yeah, let's 
stop at this one. I was just looking at the pictures. It's just like yeah, the place we want to go to anyway. I mean, the queue isn't, isn't exactly, yeah, right. we, do, we do have whoppers, the queue isn't exactly moving fast, so. No, it's gonna be another huge queue. Damn. Any signs about like, ah, oh, well, they're, they're going in, I mean, they. Yeah, I need to come around Yeah, but it's just they're... how you would turn around, even. I'd have to spin around. <laughs> and you'd have to spin around. You'd have to do like a 3,000 point turn in this road. Yeah, well, it's not possible with the RV. Uh, well, should we just go to Sedona town then? Or you I'm can here. you can probably try and we turn here. We can probably here. do that and then the other point at the same place. I mean, yeah. You want to come back here tomorrow and try and do that and the other point early in the morning? Okay. Yeah, here for about 8 a.m. or something. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's do that then. And then we'll do, do the Sedona hike the today. Day. We'll do two dates in Sedona. Yeah. 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 You can then stop stressing about getting work done then if you get to oh, there. I don't care anymore. I've had a fireball shot. <laughs> Have another one. I no longer care. <laughs> Look at these, oh man, I've never seen anything like this. There's gonna be somewhere we can stop up here and maybe have a good look at it. Yeah. That's the yeah. There's a the car signs. park there. Yeah. And a trail there. Like, there is so, I mean, we can spend more than two days here easy. Yeah. Oh, definitely. There's loads of stuff. Oh my god. I, I don't think we're ever leave leaving Utah. the state. We're not no. going to Utah. Yeah. No. <laughs> There's so much stuff here to do, and like it all looks Can't completely different. Not, uh, you drive 10 minutes down the road, and there's a new thing. Yeah. yeah and you talk to someone, they're like, oh, you gotta go there, you gotta see that. That meteor that guy was talking about, the meteor crater, that looks cool. So Sedona looks awesome just from the first impression here. All built. Yeah. And they have free parking everywhere too, which is exciting. Yeah, but not RVs. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, That's like, wow, this is a happening place. Yeah, this is this is like real small town. Much America. better than Flagstaff. Yeah, for yeah. sure. There wasn't even and they're flags. fake, fake superstore Walmart. Exactly. <laughs> Where are we going? Now? They didn't even have you're flags. You're going straight. Uh, hold on. There's flags everywhere. Yeah, you're going straight. Just follow. Oh, there's a flag on every single pole. We should have our flag. We should. Yeah, we should. Why be. aren't we flying our flag? We haven't figured out how to. Look at all these the patriots. Yeah, there's a lot of patriots. We are here at the Rancho Sedona RV Park. And we are gonna see if they are gonna let us park up our RV here for the night. We might as well just do two nights because just look at this. We are um, there. You could probably spend even a week here and you're not gonna be able to do all the all the trails and all the hikes and, and see everything there is to do here. But okay, hopefully we get one night here. Oh. All right, we've hit a roadblock, so the RV park is full. This RV park is full. There's basically, there's no other option, so we're trying to find a parking lot where we can just park up for the night, but there is, there is, there's absolutely nothing. So, I mean, we don't even know what to do. Are we gonna drive back to the Walmart? Yep. Are we gonna to to try and find a parking lot? Or we haven't seen anything, not even a restaurant where we can park a car as big as this and kind of chill and get a meal and... and... Anyway, Sedona looks like a fantastic town though, so we're gonna to have to figure something out. But right now the RV is more of an inconvenience than a convenience because our idea was that we can just basically park anywhere and crash. But in a town like this, there is nowhere that you can park a car as big as this and not be um, thrown out, so... All right, I guess we sold her on then. Hey, hold on, Sorry, that, that door's gonna hit shit.
Okay, we'll go back to town then and then we'll see what we can yeah. figure out. Maybe a place to eat or something. Mm -hmm. Why is everyone so racist against RVs? They're very racist against our RVs. Look at this. So it says RVs. Well, first of all, it says welcome to Sedona. But above there it says RVs are not allowed. Enjoy your stay. Well, thank you very much. I mean, this is such a scenic, beautiful city. If we could just park here, it would be perfect. Yeah, it would be incredible. I mean, look at this place. Right now, the problem is that the ass of our car, whatever you call the back of an RV, is kind of covering half of this lane, you see? Yeah. You can only, if you're gonna stay in this lane, you can only drive a motorbike. Lewis thinks it's okay, I don't know. Maybe we can sleep here at night, we'll see. Uh, wow, she's innovating even. Already the world's greatest uh, RV parker yeah? and just racing the bar. Uh, Head of the competition. Where's your walkie talkie? Uh, <laughs> Here we go. Is this possible? Oh, hey. hey. Oops. <laughs> I think she did it. Yeah. That's much better. Maybe a little bit more. Nah, just stop, stop actually. I think that's much better. I'm so happy we can we can park here overnight. Okay made a marginal difference but it's it's better Great yeah, yeah. That's my yeah, bison that's steak has arrived Thanks. all right <laughs> i guess that is the bison thank you so much that's great thank you oh i'm jealous you got a salad yeah. what kind of good. salad no idea and you got a, got a bison pot mm -hmm. roast Oh, yours look really better good. than mine. Oh, yeah. Hot roast looks well, but I just feel right? like, oh, it's really hot. Give it a go. Yeah. Tell the world what it tastes like. All right, let's see. Oh, wow. Try it. It's nice? Yeah, that's amazing. It's your first bison ever? Yeah, I've never had bison before. That's, um, that's unbelievable. So we found, we found a very scenic restaurant here um, called yeah. the Cowboy Club. And I ordered a, um, could you hold this for one second? I'm gonna yeah, cut sure. into the bison steak. And as you guys know, I hate vlogging food, but you always ask me, what do I eat? Please show me, blah, blah, blah. So this is what a bison ribeye steak looks like. And it costs $45. Now let's see if it's better than beef. Yeah, it is, actually. <laughs> it is? Yeah, wow. You should have a bite if you never had a bison. Yeah. Mm. I'll trade you a bite of steak. Okay. Like this. Trade me one. Yeah. Mm -mm. See just just cut one off. I mean, this was unreal. Because that, that's pretty melt in your mm. mouth right there. Cut it off. Oh, wow. That's this was, right yeah. Through. Okay. This is also bison. Yeah. Just. Hot roast one. All right, let's see. Hey, Nick, do you want to try a bit of this? The ribeye was better, but yours is, yours is good too. Okay, so dinner for three, when one of them have a, a salad, that's you, in America, or Sedona, it cost $104. We had coffee, we had at least, it says two Dr. Pepper, but the thing about America, there it's free refills. I mean, we actually probably had more like six or seven Dr. Peppers. Yeah. And, um, yeah, the bison was something. It's not that bad. I mean, consider, your meal was huge. Oh, Just massive. $23 for that, yeah, that's I, I amazing. Need to eat again today, so, so, it looks like a lot but it's actually pretty good value because the quality is there. Nine, What's the countdown seven, about? So we can eight, go? Five, I'm a little bit nervous then. Four, oh, three, it's one. gonna explode. We don't know one. One. Oh, 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 no, 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 oh, no, no that's that one. This is this one. We did press Here one. we go. We didn't press oh, let's go there on the lookout no, and see no, what's no, happening. No. So the cafe is closed, but uh, the view is open. Yeah. Yeah. 
So the uh, one of the RV parking lots that we went to, it was right right across here. Because we drove around and then up there. Sadly, it was full. Well, 24 hours into the, the amazing RV adventure, we kind of, it's dawned on, dawned on us what the life in a, in a car really is like. As you can see, not everyone is very excited, nor very upbeat. <laughs> so we've come to a restaurant thinking we could spoof their Wi-Fi because we, well, what's our problem? We can't. Well, for some reason in America, they make you pay extra money to uh, hotspot people off your phone. Yeah. And I was doing it anyway because I have an English phone and there's ways you can get around it. And I guess they caught me <laughs> and they shot off my access. So that means now we can't use our laptops and do anything. Nor have we, we failed yet again to find an RV park yeah. that actually accepts us. That so we've been we're sleeping on the So we don't have road. electricity. So we came here and we forced you to eat like a chocolate dessert so we can charge all our electronics. So I mean, look at this. I brought my own extension cord. So this, this piece there is mine. I, plug, I plugged it in here. And then I brought my own, this one. And we have all these multiple charges going on here. Um, even, yeah, we're charging, <laughs> charging like <laughs> 10 electronic devices at one time. <laughs> need to book for tomorrow. And still, we don't have a place to sleep tonight. So I've been calling around to pubs and we found a place called PJ's Grill or something. <laughs> PJ's Village. There's like oh. a 20 minute PJ's Village pub, 20 minute drive. He says he has Wi Fi. So we're going to get into the RV, <laughs> going to drive to PJ's Village pub, and I'm going to sit there and yep. spoon on his Wi Fi yep. and then see if, we can, see if we can sleep in his parking lot after they close. <laughs> PJ, that was in. All right, so that was the update. Yep. See you at PJ's Grill. <laughs> this is a sad life. <laughs> Pay close attention, Internet. Geraldo is going to show you what's called a Norwegian shower. A Norwegian shower is what you're forced to do when you're traveling with a couple of Brits who kidnapped you along the road can't plan for shit and you're blessed without electricity and water running water so okay beer belly tuck it in okay I, I can't let's just leave it all out so make sure to you know handful of water try and get that Walmart parking lot stink out of your armpits <laughs> <laughs> You may have to give it a couple of rubs. <laughs> and even then, it may, it may still be there. At least psychologically, it, it, this helps because you, at least you know that you put in an effort. Unlike your, uh, your RV mates. <laughs> oh, come on. It's okay, we're going, I guess we're going to PJ's Grill. <laughs> at least he, he, on the phone, he says he has Wi-Fi. I reckon PJ's Grill is going to be quality. So, ready to roll? Up. What do you want to do the same? I'm going to do the same. I'll okay. This. Why don't you just get in the actual shower? Like, it's no. Well, we do have 30 gallons of water. Yeah, Not allowed to. <laughs> do one more, do one more. Just a little one. Faster this time. Jesus! Look at this. No! Fuck off! No! <laughs> oh, f how's, your, how's your shower going? You've just fing broken my phone, you mob! <laughs> <laughs> well, why the fuck? <laughs> Oh, Why? <laughs> Why did you spill your Dr. Pepper? <laughs> oh no! There's like Dr. Pepper all over them! Oh no! F***ing idiot! I full... no, oh. joked about it! Yeah. Look, his face full of Dr. Pepper is all over the place. Do you have any tissues? Oh, that's a good job I bought these! Really oh, try! I promise not to spill the Dr. Pepper. Oh. Where'd it go? Oh. All over the floor! Oh, at least it's, it's not too All bad. of your shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! Put it in there, I'll rinse it out. Just put it flat so it's upside down. <sighs> <Right>. <laughs>
Oh, too funny. Too funny until a second time. My phone went. We need to get on film at that point. Oh, I figured you were filming the first time. So I could hear you talking about it. And I was like, oh yeah, that's gonna be. You was also yeah, no, I wasn't filming situation. So we had to do a second take. Oh no, because the first time would have been really funny. The second time I was like, took me took me by surprise because I didn't think you'd do it again. So it worked. Keep going. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Oh, no, you can just turn around. Get in. Fuck. What was that? The cool marks. Yeah, I know. Ah, okay. Sad it bad. When I went to get her something <laughs> before, I went straight through that. <laughs> And I was like, oh, I absolutely, when the camp lady came, I literally went and... But still love's crawling on southern ground Like a little bit of chicken pie So it's coming up on the right hand side, after Pago's Pizzeria There's a Holiday Express as well Oh, if all goes ticks up, you know oh, they Oh, look at an RV Wi-Fi. parked outside there, yeah. easy We know that they have Wi-Fi, so we can do that Yeah, maybe we found our, our, our home yeah, no point going all the way back for that, is it? Nope. No. You can just drive that distance in the morning. Yeah. Well, it's coming up. PJ's Village Pub. Sounds like a gay bar, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Sounds like a line dancing bar. Yeah. Oh, Are you into line dancing? I, I'm not even sure I know what it is. You'll see. Is that after the petrol station, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Village. One specific yeah. part. Oh, and well, there's a Days in. There we go. Can't go too wrong. There's a fucking motel there. It's gotta be something around here for us. Yeah, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay. Slow down as much as I want to. Yeah, it's the next one. Possibly in here. Hold on. That must be the next one. Or is it in here? <laughs> nice no, down there. Right. Right. Yeah. Roundabout. Yeah, and they are right here, right here. And then it's uh, right again, a right little now? up here, no, a little up, straight up. It's supposed to be village. I think it's right there. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, PJ's Pub and Grill. He's flying the flag, a patriot like us. <laughs> what about Roi? No. That's disabled. These are all disabled ones. Well, this looks mighty promising. This does look promising. I think he has electricity. Yeah. There's nobody here. Well. Yeah, I'll just. All right. Well, maybe we'll have the whole. We can even park here. Yeah, you see, we can sleep here tonight. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> this has turned into such a ghetto trip. <laughs> <laughs> it's just tables. been 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. Imagine we'll how be, far it can devolve. Already, we've been going people of Walmart. <laughs> it's gonna end with us just like begging outside JC <laughs> Penny. All right, woohoo! Good, good driving. Amazing. You saved us once again. Can you just see how far away I've got from the car? Right. Can you just move all the, the fireball and the bloody... Hmm. Oh yeah. Thought it'd be a bit livelier, but all right. Well, what I was expecting. Vegas, PJs. Walmart, Vegas, can't be choosers, as they say. PJs. I don't think it's a gay bar anymore. No? It's I, just because they called it a village pub. In the gay in the village. Exactly. Well, oh. the village people. Any extension cords? No. Wow, there's a baseball. Is it safe? That is awesome. Oh, I'll let these guys out first. Up to you guys. Oh, thank you. No problem. Thank you. No a oh, nice one for you. All right. Hey, not bad. You're getting better. Well, uh, it's hers. You can, uh, you can just move it. You can just move it over here. Yeah. Can we put it over here so we can move it? Louis just finished his work. I finished my work. And, um, oh, the thing does.
Oh, I see. And um, yeah, so this bar is a bit more quiet than, than what I expected when we entered. There were some people sitting and eating and so on. And um, yeah. Nothing went in, man. It's all you. Nothing? It's me? All right. Cheers. Have a good night, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we outlasted everyone in this bar. We're on our way to another parking lot. Those boys are going to drink in there as well, so if you guys... Yeah, I'll probably go and have a drink with them in there. Yeah, you might as well Why not? Up. They seem cool. Yeah. Okay, apparently we're going to another bar. Yeah. Woohoo! And that's definitely always open till 2 a.m. There's porta potties in the car park. Wait, they have, we're choosing this based upon the fact that they have a toilet in the car park. That's how low we have come in like 30 hours of being RV people. Yeah, we've been, we've been doing this for less than two days. And we're like, oh, there's toilets in the car park. Oh, oh, go. Great. Whoa. If they had electricity, we'd never leave. Oh, no. We'd never get us out. Imagine a car park with toilets, electricity, and Wi Fi. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. I think I'd come in my pants. <laughs> I think I already have just thinking about yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Ooh. Let me, get some, let me get some stage lighting going. Here we yeah. Go. Are we filming? Oh, we are. Yeah. Amazing. Don't be ashamed to have missed that last. We should, we should ask the boys if they wanted a, a lift. A lift? Actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that sounded weird. I didn't know. I went. No more apple cider for you, lady. Yeah. No, we've had too much. Oh. Where are they going now? They're going to the bar that, that we're going to. Down the road, there's a bar and a car park. Right. You've not been listening to what we're talking about? No. <laughs> Turn right. Ooh. Then your destination will be on the right. So they do have a big car park. <laughs> Looking good. Shops that'll be open at 8, it's like 5am. Oh, this is the best bar in America. It's probably the funniest bar I've ever been in in America. The the most incredible. Bar. Yeah. He goes, he goes it's past last call. The bartender goes, no, it's no, not. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, 10 out of 10. <laughs> all right, so uh, it's all good. You're gonna lay down, okay? How long has Whitney been here? Uh, all right, the bartender I, is out. I it's can't just blame her. Out. Okay. We, yeah, we, we, I can't blame her. We've the bartender. No, okay. You didn't out drink her. I'm a local. I get it. America. From Vegas, America. Hey. Can you sign off? I can. This is Travis from fucking Las Vegas, Nevada, America. We signing off. We faded. Yeah, boy. You have till 6.30 to stay, but I can't serve anything after 2. Uh, I think we're gonna go and get some bad idea. Crash in the parking lot. All right. Thank you so much. Good luck. I hope you get your guns back. Uh, five more years. Well, I'll tell you what it's like. It's not uh, yeah. small town America. I'm amazed. We rocked up into this. L we oh, fuck. I'm hammered. All right. <laughs> Listen up. I'm no. Neither do I. I, 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 know, I'm, no, I'm, I I'm just gonna to say, say that. I, I, I got to unlock it, bro. Oh man. <laughs> then we gotta eat whoppers. It's freezing hot. Yeah, we get. Oh, okay, we're still rolling tape. We're getting whoppers. We don't eat whoppers. <laughs> we have whoppers. Yeah, we do. I gotta be quiet. I don't want to wake Nick up. All right. Okay, guys, I'm gonna sign off. Good night. Was I filming? Yeah, I was. Okay, I guess you guys are gonna watch this after all. <laughs> hey, put my whopper in the microwave. In the microwave? Yeah. It's gonna be soggy.